Today we're going to talk about bad parenting, specifically negligent parents. Hello and welcome. Today we'll talk about a situation that just popped up in the last week. Apparently there was a Kansas City family. We're not going to name names, but if you want to look it up, you'll be able to find it very easily, who was attending a wedding reception and they brought their children with them. That's mistake number one. But they brought their children with them and left them unattended or let them basically run loose so that this happened. Let's look at the video. So, as you see, you see the little kids out there, the, the one ran over, grabbed the statue, yanked on it, went, whoops, because it started to fall, tried to push it back up, and it fell down. Looks like it popped him in the nose or whatever, and all I can say is, good. Uh, now, I do want to point out, yes, there are some adults sitting in the chairs there. None of them are their parents or guardians. If you do a search, because I'm not going to pull all this video up, you'll see that one of the ladies gets up, goes over, checks on the kid. The kid runs off because he knew he did something wrong. Then someone that works for the facility comes over. The chick walked back, took them to where the kid was, and later the mom comes out. And this simple-minded individual is upset because she's getting a bill for $132,000 for the piece of artwork that her child destroyed. Now, first, let's tackle a couple of things that people are saying on the web and that are bullshit. Number one, people arguing, $132,000? How can it be worth that? It's not worth that, whatever. Let's be blunt. Opinion on art is subjective, as well as valuation. Now, I personally don't like Picasso. Other people do. Many are willing, willing to pay millions of dollars for a Picasso. I wouldn't spend five on one, just like I wouldn't spend it on a Pollock. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth the value that's placed on it. The artist that built this statue spent two years, count it, two years of his life creating the statue. Now, are you going to tell me that someone who is an uncouth, uneducated, non-talented individual should be able to establish that this is not worth $132,000? Are they willing for me to come in and say, well, your job is rather menial. You're only worth a couple thousand dollars a year. No, that's not the way it goes there, Chuckles. If you're one of these people that sits there and thinks that it's not worth the money, it doesn't matter. That's the value of it, both time and artwork for this piece of work. If you don't, you don't have to like it, but you have to acknowledge that art's subjective and people are going to be willing to pay for that, just like they're willing to pay for art that famous artists have done that you may think look like shit, but your our opinion doesn't matter. That's the value of the piece. All right. Second, there are people sitting there saying, oh, it's not the parents' fault, blah, blah, blah. They should have had it locked up. Now, I've seen other videos where our dad and his kid come in, and the kid stops at the statue. The dad walks over and hustles the kid off and says, let's go. That's a responsible parent. He wasn't negligent. Nowhere in the video that you see or any of the videos do you see this mother, the father, or anybody else watching their child. Let's be blunt here. That kid could have been running around where there's no artwork, and we live in a world filled with assholes, predators, and scumbags. Someone could have kidnapped their child. She wouldn't have fucking known it. The kid could have run outside, been run over a bus. She wouldn't have fucking known that happened either until someone came and told her. In the case of a kidnapping or a molestation, she wouldn't have known until she realized her kid was missing an hour later because she wasn't watching her children. So all this bullshit that the... And I've even heard the mom say... We were watching them. No, you weren't. You're a lying bitch. You were negligent. You let your kid run. Pay the fucking piper. Now, here's the reality. 
when my wife and I, we were responsible parents. We would go places. One, if it was a wedding reception, we didn't take our children. We hired a babysitter. Now trust me, paying 20 or $30 or whatever the going rate is, even if you had to pay 50 or 100 bucks for a babysitter, that's a fuckload cheaper than paying $132,000 because you were an irresponsible parent who didn't want to watch your kids. You're probably sitting back there drinking, eating, talking, whatever, thinking, ah, oh, let somebody else watch my kids. Now, because you were too cheap and too ignorant to get a babysitter, you got a big bill coming to you and you fucking deserve it. Two, if we went someplace where they said, oh no, bring the kids, you don't have to get a babysitter, either myself or my wife, we took turns, watched our children the entire time. We didn't let them run, we didn't let them get in trouble. We never would have let them touch things that they shouldn't be touching. And if they tried to run and do it when we said no, I guarantee you I would have taken them out, had a rather harsh conversation, and they wouldn't have done it when we got the fuck back in. Parents nowadays, yes, there's some that are good parents and watch their kids, but too many are like this woman and her husband who think they have kids, but they're not responsible to watch their fucking kids. Too often, I go out to dinner, and I can't sit there and eat because, with, in peace because kids are running around screaming while their simple-minded parents are sitting there eating and not paying attention to what their kids are doing. Running, screaming, banging, banging in the tables, throwing shit, doing all kinds of stuff. I'm sorry. If you have kids, get the fuck over yourself. You don't have a right to sit there and eat in peace while other people are being harassed by your children. If your kids are acting out, one of you has the duty to get your fucking ass off the chair, grab your little bastard, and take them outside. Explain to them that they're going to behave or they're going to get their fucking ass beat, or at the least, sit in the car, let your spouse finish eating, get your food packed, and go the fuck home. But don't sit there and let your kids do whatever they want and ruin everyone else's dinner in a motherfucking restaurant. I hate that shit. And that's exactly what this bitch and her husband are doing. They're sitting there, having their fun, letting their kids run hog wild. In this case, destroying a piece of art worth a lot of money and harassing other people who, these are not their kids. I shouldn't, they shouldn't, no one should have to be harassed by your fucking children. Now let's get this straight. If you want to have kids, awesome. If you don't want to watch your kids and be responsible for them when you're out, don't fucking have them. It's not everyone else's problem that you have children. Watch your kids. Be responsible. And let's be honest. I could not give less fucks if this family has to sell their home, declare bankruptcy, sell all their shit, spend little Johnny's college tuition, which they probably haven't even fucking started putting aside, use all their money in the world, and then because they don't have a pot to piss in, get their wages garnished until it's paid off, that's fine with me. Fuck these people. Don't be an irresponsible, negligent parent. If you have kids, watch the little bastards. Don't let them run wild. And then, if you let them run wild, don't cry when your kids get molested, kidnapped, run over by a car because you weren't responsible. That's your fucking problem, not ours. Anyway, that's the end of this. It pisses me off, as you can tell. But... People, watch your fucking kids and then take responsibility if they do something because you didn't watch them. If you don't watch them, you're 100% responsible for any damages or whatever happens. You, no one else. That's it for today. Remember to rate, like, subscribe. I'm sure people are going to thumbs down because a lot of entitled bastards think that their kids should be able to do what they want, but they shouldn't. But do that. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.